Hey, how's it going everyone? So today I just wanted to talk about, I guess, making it on YouTube since I've been trying to do that for the past year. My YouTube channel is actually nearing seven years now and this year was kind of the year I decided to actually take it seriously and try to make something of the channel because I've tried in the past um, when I was like a teenager had a YouTube channel then. My first YouTube channel is actually from 2006. So you could say I'm an OG YouTuber. My cat is uh, crying in the background right now. It's fun. Um, so yeah, it could be seen as an OG YouTuber, except I wasn't one of those that made it as such. But yeah, it's a lot of hard work and takes a lot of time and effort like you just don't realize until you actually start doing it you think the 1000 uh, subscribers and the 4000 watch hours isn't like that hard <laughs> until you start doing it and you realize actually this is really really hard harder than what I expected because I've reached over a thousand, a thousand subscribers now. I'm almost at two thousand subscribers, but most of those subscribers come from my shorts, and unfortunately, the people who subscribe via shorts tend not to watch long form content, which means they will just seek out your shorts videos rather than your long form videos. So if you upload any long form stuff, they tend not to watch that. They'll only really watch the shorts that you upload, which is a pain because the shorts views um, limit, I guess, for reaching partner is 10 million, which is so much and just absolutely ridiculous. I'm almost at 100k now, which is incredible. I didn't think I'd ever make 100k shorts views, but it's still a long, long, long way to go from 10 million shorts views. I know the they've kind of cut down the requirements for um, some of the YouTube partnership program. So you only need 500 subscribers, 3000 watch, I say only uh, five, uh, sorry, 3000 watch hours and nine million or nine million shorts views to reach the minimum part, minimum part, the partner program. And even that's just a long, long slog. Like I've I've almost reached two thousand subscribers, so I'm I guess more than triple the requirement for that. But I'm still nowhere near on the watch hours. I'm at um, six hundred, almost seven hundred watch hours now. So it's been long and I've been doing live streams as well and I've had people come in and watch my live streams. I've been live streaming practically every single weekday and I've had uh, one or two people, I think the maximum amount I've had at one time is like four that have actually stayed. I think I've had more than that for like a short period of time but they tend to drop off. But four is like the most I've been able to have in a single live stream at the minute. But hopefully, and that will change. And yes, again, the, the watch hours are still very, very low. So you get people on Twitter who say like, oh yeah, for live streamers, you know, if you're coming from Twitch, all you need to do is build up these watch hours, which you could do easily with your live streams. It's, it's not that easy. It's not as easy as people think. And it's a long slog. But it's, I feel like it could be worth it in the end. So, you know, because it's not just about the money, obviously. It's about creating a community, something that's kind of close-knit. You've got awesome people commenting and messaging you. Like, the uh, when I'm doing my live streams, having people come in and, like, chat to me whilst I'm streaming is just so cool. It's just something that you would never really think about is that rewarding. But it is really rewarding having people come in and say like, oh, I love your, I love this live stream or like, do you, do you want to play with this game with me? Um, because I've played a few games with some of my watches, which has been really good and they love chilling out with me. And then also on the like comment side of things, you know, you get people who say, um, 
I, I this video was great, this reaction was great, if you react to content, that kind of stuff. So the actual like feedback you get from people, it's awesome. Um, and having a video like just kind of shoot up, I'd say blow up, but I haven't really, it's, it's gone up higher than I expected, which, um, but it hasn't exactly blown up. Uh, a short view recently just went from like a thousand views to, and it suddenly shot up to over 7,000 views. And I woke up with an extra 50 odd subscribers, which is insane. Like waking up to that in the morning is very rewarding. And it kind of, uh, I'd say set you up for the day. It kind of does. So it just kind of like, you know, it's it hits that, um, what's the word? Not adrenaline, but like, you know, that positive mindset that, um, oh, I forget what it's called. Someone can probably tell me, uh, but <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that part, part in your brain where it's like, oh, this is awesome. Like, got to keep doing this, um, that part of your brain. And yeah, so doing that part of YouTube and getting that sort of feedback is very reward, rewarding in it, in and of itself. And this is without being monetized. Like, so, you know, you get some great stuff. Um, I don't really know where I'm going with this. I was just saying, if you are looking to start a YouTube channel, just bear in mind, it's a long, hard slog. I've got a, hopefully a collaboration coming up this evening on a live stream, which is cool. Um, I, I'm trying to find this guy's channel because he was chatting on the live stream, but I don't think I had a live stream replay up, which is unfortunate. So I'm trying to find his channel. I sent him a link to my Discord, but he hasn't joined my Discord. So, but hopefully he's still up for collaborating tonight. We're playing Fall Guys, so that'd be good good fun. I played that a bit last night just to double check it works on my PC. And it's really cool. I love it. I didn't realise it was a free game. So there's that. Um, yeah, collaborating, again, is another rewarding experience that you can have with people. And it's just overall, like, without the monetization part of it, it's a good experience it's just getting the monetization part is a long slog and you have to realize that if you want to make it on youtube and you want it to be like your part-time or full-time job basically because and, and another thing as well i mean i've been like i said i've been live streaming pretty much every weekday and this is from january this year so i've been doing a hell of a lot of live streams and I've got like a donation page set up so people can donate to me. Uh, and I haven't had a, a single donation, which like, I uh, I don't know if I expected, I guess I did expect that. It's because it's like just a nice bonus to have if someone was to donate. But I, I guess I, I, I thought maybe I'd have one or two donations at least by now. But I've had zero, but you know, it's fine. It's what it is. It's, it's, again, it's one of those things where it takes time and effort and you really have to put, put in your all to make it. And I can see why a lot of people try to do this and then give up shortly after. Um, I mean, I've done that in the past, mostly because I didn't have a good, sometimes I didn't have a good headspace. Sometimes I didn't have a good like environment set up because now I've got the perfect environment set up to do live streams, to do videos, um, because it's like out of the way. It's in my own little area at wherever everyone else. So I don't feel like I'm like taking time away or anything like that. So yeah, if you, if you create yourself a good environment and you have a good headset, a good mindset, um, and focus, then you can hundred percent make it on YouTube, it just takes time and effort. And that's the thing I just want to basically tell anyone who wants to try a YouTube channel is it will take time, it will take effort, and you don't expect to get this done within a year and then, you know, start making money. It would definitely take longer than that. I know some people have managed to do it within a year and they're just kind of diamonds in the rough, 
so to speak. They um, have content that no one else could really, not many people will really like make. <clears throat> They'd have the, the time and effort and pro probably money as well um, to do it. Or the creativity, because there is definitely a lot of creativity going into these YouTube videos and any kind of content you make, really. But yeah, that's my headspace. Uh, they're my thoughts on make, trying to make it on YouTube. Let me know what you think. There's you Actually, if you go on Spotify, it's like a Q&A thing. You can answer on a QA. and a Let me know your thoughts. You can donate um, or become a member on my Ko-fi page if you want to. Uh, links to all of that will be in the show notes of this episode. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give it a rating or a like or whatever from where you are. And I will speak to you tomorrow. Goodbye.